The topic of this video is building quadratic models from verbal descriptions. We begin with geometric models. Let's look at a problem. David has available 280 yards of fencing and wishes to enclose a rectangular area. Part A. Express the area A of the rectangle as a function of the width W of the rectangle. Okay, we're provided with this diagram. So first of all, the fencing is 280 yards. So that is the total length of fence that goes around the outside edge of this particular piece of land. That is referred to as the perimeter. So in this problem, the perimeter is 280 yards. The perimeter is labeled in two different ways. This length here is, uh, this distance here is the length and this distance here is the width. Now the thing that makes a rectangle a rectangle is that opposing sides have the same distance. So that means that this must also be L, this must also be W. So the perimeter, which is what you get when you add up all of these things, would be L plus L plus W plus W. There are two L's and two W's. So using the formula P equals 2L plus 2W, we can replace the P with 280. And we get the statement 280 equals 2L plus 2W. Now the second part of this problem that we want to pay attention to is what we're being asked to create. We're being asked to express the area A. So we need to come up with a formula for the area of this rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is length times width, L times W. Okay, now that we've got all of our problems set up, we're ready to actually begin solving the problem. We're asked to express A as a function of the width W. That means that we're only allowed to have those two letters in our equation, A and W. We need to find a way to remove the L from this equation, and we will do that by substitution. So since the L is the thing that we are trying to get rid of, L is the thing that we need to try to solve for in the other equation so that we can make our substitution. Let's see if we can achieve this. First thing we're going to do is divide everything by 2. So 280 divided by 2 is 140. 2 L divided by 2 is just L. 2 W divided by 2 is just W. So if 280 equals 2 L plus 2 W, 140 equals L plus W. Next, we're going to move this W to the other side with subtraction. And so that's going to give us the statement 140 minus W equals L. Now we know what L equals, so we can take this expression and put it here. Then we won't have an L in our equation anymore, and the only letters we'll have will be L and W. Excuse me, I apologize. The only letters we'll have will be A and W. So the L is being replaced by 140 minus W. The W is, of course, still here multiplying. We can distribute this W if we would like. So we'll get A equals 140 W minus W squared. We can even put these terms in descending order, which would be negative W squared plus 140W. Now, before we call this our final answer, we have to pay attention to the wording of the problem. It says to express A as a function of W. So we can't just write A equals, we have to write A of W equals. All right, we now have a formula that allows us to determine the area of the rectangle by assuming a value for w, plugging it in here and here, crunching the numbers, and that will tell us the area. This is part A of this problem. We will continue this problem with parts B and C in the next video.